good morning once again. Good afternoon, good evening. Especially those on the other side of the world, there is no time and space between us. There is only this present moment and we are one. There, I am G number 965. Today, I heard in my soul these words. My daughter, it is time for you to take action. I am with you. Great persecutions and sufferings are in store for you, but be comforted by the thought that many souls will be saved and sanctified by your work. Narinig ko ngayon sa aking God pinuluwa ang mga salitang ito. Aking anak, oras na upang gumawa ka ng aksyon. Kasama mo ako. Matitinding mga pag-uusig at pagdurusa ang nakalaan para sa iyo. Subayit isipin mo na lang gaano parami kaluluwa ang maliligtas at malilinis dahil sa iyo gawain. It is time Oras na Para gumawa ka Kumulos ka Para sa kapakana Ng maraming kaluluwa Maraming naghihintay Sa iyong hirap Subali kasama mo ako uh, Pero Kung ikaw ba yun Sinabi sa iyo That there would be Great persecutions And sufferings But do not worry I am with you Your Lord Will you be happy? You will you be taken? Wala maghihindi na nakatakot yun. Parang ang gayari sa akin, anong gagawin sa akin? So, katulad din ni Jesus, no, dun sa pamagitan ni Maria, uh, I just couldn't recall kung sino ang nagsabi nito sa nag-elaborate nito no, sa sa akong talk sabi rin ni ano no sabi rin ni Jesus do sa wedding at the cana hindi pa oras pero si Maria sinabihan niya na do something no kasi nga naubos na yung alak Now, when Jesus said, when Mary said that the wine is already exhausted, there is a need for a new wine. And imagine the wine that Jesus created. It is the best of the best wine. Kaya nga pinuri. Dapat kasi inilalabas ang pinaka The best wine should be served at the start. But then, na-serve na ang best wine. Pero, masarap pa rin ang uh, inihain na alak ng host. So, nag, ano sila, no? Natuwa sila yung mga bisita. They didn't know that it was created by Jesus. That the water has been turned into wine. So, tubig lang muna siya. Tapos naging halak. Now, the symbolism is Jesus flowed out, poured out to mankind both water and blood. Okay, so sa ating pagdiriwang ng Banal na Misa, ang sisimbolo ng dugo ni Jesus ay ang alak. Hindi po ba? So, hindi naman talaga dugo ni Jesus. Nandunan. Although there were masses which during consecration, yung wine ay uh, yung, I mean, the, the, the host turned into the actual flesh because may, may dugo. 
during the consecration at the end of the post. Tinapay the wafer. So, the symbolism is the water was turned into wine. And the divine mercy flowed out water and blood. And wine symbolizes the blood of Jesus. So in that wedding, do nagsimula na, simula na yung ano ni Jesus, yung kaniyang gawain. At doon pa lang, ipinatikim na ni Jesus na ang kanyang dugo ang pinakamasarap sa lahat. But then the people, the guests, do not know what great persecutions and sufferings are in store for Jesus or kung ano ang dadanasin ni Jesus para lamang maibigay niya ang pinaka masarap na alak or the blood that would flow from him. So again, masarap yung alak na ibibigay para sa atin. Alak is the blood. And this is the life-giving force again. So the blood, ito yung masarap na bahagi. During the consecration, ito yung pinababanan at ipaiinom sa atin so that sins may be forgiven. So, yung alak na aating iinumin, yun ang pinakamasarap na alak sa lahat sapagkat ang alak na ito ang magpapawi ng ating lahat ng kasalanan. Isn't it great? Pero hindi natin alam kung ano ang daranasin ni Jesus para lamang maibuhos sa sanlibutan ang pinakamasarap na ala or again, His blood. So katulad din ni Faustina, it is time, oras na, abay kilos na. Kung hindi ngayon, kailan pa, this is one of the famous um statements no ng mga ng mga uh, aktivista no kung hindi ngayon kailan pa ganun din tayo kilos na bagamat marami ang hihintay sa ating mga paghihirap pagdurusa pag-uusig kilos na dahil kung hindi ngayon kailan pa Maraming kaluluwa ang araw-araw, minuminuto, siku-segundo ang nahuhulog sa kumunoy ng kasalanan. We do not know how much suffering they would be experiencing because of their sins. And so this great work of salvation of Jesus is also our work because in partaking in this process, in this mission, in this work, we would be able to save souls. So, kung yung pag-aalay ng dugo ni Jesus, nakapagliligtas ng kaluluwa, ganoon din tayo kapag tayo nakilakok sa paghihirap ni Jesus. Imagine the souls, the number of souls that will be saved and sanctified by our work. Isn't it great? Masakit ang ating katawan. But offering all these pains for the salvation of souls, isn't it great that our pain in the body is an instrument of saving souls? Isn't it great that when we are experiencing the most difficult disease in our life, isn't it great that offering all this Sufferings would mean saving a lot of souls. Isn't it great that 
when we would be humiliated, accused by things that we didn't do. Isn't it great that souls are saved because of that humiliation? Kapag tayo pinapahiya, sipin mo kahit na mali ang ginawa sa atin, offer it. Because rather than retaliate, offer it. Mahalin mo yun sapagkat ang pagdurusan mo makapagliligtas ng kaluluwa. So the next time, okay, the next time you experience suffering, humiliation, persecution, remember that with that, you are able to save souls yet you do not and you do not know how many souls are saved because you have accepted that event that suffering that persecution that temptation